So this is, um, it's really important with Liberty Horse Training to connect, to first connect with the horse and to, whenever the horse's head is down like this, that means they're calm and that's the kind of horse you want to get on rather than a horse with his head way up and really afraid and tense. So Tino used to have a problem with me picking up his tail and being behind him because he was so afraid of anything that I might do behind him. But now um, we've been working together for almost two years at this point. Um, about a year and a half of it is has been at Liberty. So right here I'm telling him to wait and even though it's kind of predatory behavior for me to be behind him and crouch down, I still asked him to wait and to just trust me that um, I'm going to tell him to go when it's safe. So he knows that if he waits, he gets a cookie. And and when when you're thinking about getting on them at Liberty, um, at least in this the way I'm doing the training, um, it's really important to be able to. Uh, right there, I gave him a treat for halting and listening to me. Um, it's really important when you want to ride at Liberty, at least with Liberty Horse Training, um, the way I understand it, is, is to um, be able to get behind them and have them be 100% safe with you behind them and above them. And um, right here he's distracted by something, so I'm using my whip on the ground like a horse in the wild would use his foot on the ground. Um, I'm getting his attention back and I'm saying, don't worry about what's going on in the street. Let's think about what we're doing here. So right there, I just slowed him down with my hands and we're just working the cone. So I'm just making sure he's listening to me here. So this is, this is, I'm kind of, this is probably, after this recording is probably the third time I wrote him at, ever at Liberty and we're gonna record it on one of these next videos. But in preparation for that, I'm, I'm just making sure he's really with me, that we're in the bond, that his, and I'd say overall we're doing okay. We want, I want my shoulder and his shoulder to be lined up together, so I don't want him to be in front of me. And I'm using my right hand here as if I had a lunge line, but I don't have a lunge line, but um, it's, like a, it's almost like an invisible line that goes to their nose. And now he's just mirroring me, backing up. I'm, he's not exactly listening to me here, so that's why I use my whip on the ground like that a little bit. Just tell him, hey, listen to me. I don't know that he really ever did there. Okay, now he is. And so I'm just, now at this point I'm thinking, I really wanna get behind him and drive him, because it's a strange thing about horses, but being behind them is a lot more comforting, especially a fearful, reactive horse like Tino has been. For me to get behind him and be able to control his speed from behind, like right now I could tell him to canter or I could tell him to trot, or right now I'm just trying to get him to walk, is really, really comforting to him. It's like, oh good, somebody's telling me what to do. And that's because in the wild horse herd, there would have been a lead horse telling basically dictating the speed of the herd and so that's what we're mimicking here so it really has a profound effect I think neurologically for these kind of submissive horses um, and so right now I'm trying to get him to just turn in a circle around me as if we're lunging but I'm still driving him from behind and I just asked him to trot so And right there I asked him to canter, just to mirror me. So Tino's under both, he knows voice commands and he also, but he also mirrors me. So we do a combination of things here. And right there I just slowed down my own body position to tell him to stop. And now I'm gonna just drive him and walk again. Eventually I'd love to be able to use my kind of finger to, to turn him, um, to tell it to direct him and to go the other way, but um, 
we haven't gotten there yet. So there's always, with this kind of training, there's always more that you can do from the ground. And the groundwork is, it's fun. You know, you always think you want to ride a horse. You don't want to be next to him. But actually, the most rewarding times we've had doing Liberty, pretty much I'm on the ground with him. And we're just running together or trotting together. It's just really such a nice feeling. And it also gives you a something um, sort of different you can do. So you're not always just riding your horse all the time. Um, it's better for their backs. <laughs> so here he is mimicking me here in canter. Yep, and pretty soon we're gonna go down to trot. So I'm so this way I'm not driving him from behind anymore. I'm I'm just we're, we're paired up like we're in the bond paired up. I just asked him to trot, and, and I'm making sure that I can control his speed just next to him. So we actually do little half, half halts from the ground. So basically um, just controlling my energy. If my, if my shoulders come back and I get smaller, I'm asking him to stop, like right there. It. And just as long as he gets reward time, that's really important in Liberty Horse Training.